Ahem. Ahem. Oh, well, testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Um, just gonna hope that things, this thing is working. I can't do any volume test, really. It's just me and yeah, let's fucking set this up. It's me and a beer and a bot. The bot I should mute in case it starts playing things of its own uh, volition and accord and uh, copyright strikes, everything. Scroll up to a nice little picture. This is look at that, some graphite. Trio. All right, one sec. <sighs> All right, motherfuckers, welcome to another episode of this shit. <coughs> that was a long podcast. Uh, Doncast. The people that don't have time to say it in full this episode what episode i'm checking the wrong channel i'm checking the wrong channel again fuck oh there we go no that's the right one episode <coughs> 27 fuck 27 god dang weeks in a row of this shit I haven't even missed a single millisecond um d for the second time in the history of the of the thing this is a just me episode rambling man part two just me and a beer and uh and a dream yeah we don't know where the other fuckers are sleeping they had some whatever the fuck happened who gives a shit they had some things and they are unable to make it could i change the display live whoa what the fuck oh goodness what have i done Hello? Is that? Whoa. She? <laughs> oh, no, fuck. Huh? Oh, let's crank this on, actually. I didn't do the... I didn't do the fucking dailies in this. One sec. Let's do this, fuck. Why not? <clears throat> uh, yeah, so. Where are we at? Uh, what's the... What's the good word out of here? In the fucking internet verse um me some new things some developments got some oh did a little job interview that was kind of cool did a little uh job interviewage talked to a fella at the job interview that was pretty funny had a little uh little anecdote kind of story he said that he went to his dentist and found out there's a new dental hygienist and for whatever reason, this was a significant discovery for him, I guess. Uh, in his head, it was something along the lines of, this is going to be a, a person that I'm going to see several times over the course of the years. Because I guess dental hygienists, they hold the positions for a while. You know, like a change in that is a, it's a big enough thing. And he cared about it. It uh, meant something to him. So... Oh, let's go. <coughs> so, and this, he's telling me this after the job and everything. Tells me a little story along the lines of, so he went to the dentist's office. And he uh, wanted to test the hygienist in one or another way to uh, to see if they were legit. Because apparently he's gonna be able to figure this out how he decided to do that was by bringing candy and in his words what what that is and how does that that plays out said he was gonna give her the candy and she was gonna eat it and then he was gonna see her teeth <laughs> and he was gonna see uh how how, how clean they were <laughs> i don't fucking <laughs> I I don't I don't I don't know really uh, what the fuck that's about or what that means, but he seemed pretty dead set on it, and uh, he did that, and he was satis he was satisfied with the result. He uh, he saw her teeth, and they looked clean, and there was also some funniness in just bringing candy <coughs> to a uh, to a dentist's office that he he enjoyed a lot. He, th he thought it was fucking hilarious, and. Uh, he was stoked that it went well, and that she ate the candy that he brought him, and that he looked at her teeth while she was chewing it, and that it looked good. And you guys can do with that information what you will. 
Uh, just thought I would share. I'm gonna set myself up in this fucking stupid shit. I think it was this one, right? What do we say? Harmony. Yeah, set myself up in this, get some points. Challenge mode. This is some weave game shit. But. It's pretty cool, honestly, all things considered. It's free to play game. Uh, let's drop the volume on this significantly. And let it auto battle. This year, uh, free to play game. Some gacha shit. Not some, it, it is gacha shit. It's like uh, you put in money, you get card packs or whatever, and you open them up and you have a chance to get in characters. So basically, the more money you spend, the higher the odds of getting some crazy shit. Uh, but you can just play it as a free-to-play thing. A buddy of mine told me about it. It was uh, Gab in here, actually. Tell me about it. Figured I'd give it a whirl. I've played plenty of free-to-play shit that had pay options. I never really um, felt like I needed to drop any cash on it. That <laughs> hasn't changed with this one. I'm still... So that's zero buck spent, and I'm uh, having a pretty good time, honestly, just playing through the campaign, fucking around. This is like a, some daily shit I'm just going to do, get a little bit of points. Other than that, not too sure. Let's see what happened in the uh, internet world a little bit. Switch the monitor. You can just do this on the fly, eh? Oh, that's pretty sick. Some other games came out actually. That kind of kind of goes back to the point of this free-to-play thing being surprisingly valid and like just enjoyable as an experience. A League of Legends fucking sucks, obviously true and real. But uh, a lot of recent games that came out, AAA titles, actually been fucking trash from what I've been hearing. There was some new Star Wars. Which apparently is unplayable on PC, just absolute fucking garbanzo. There's some new, um, what's this? Some new Bethesda game, Redfall, I think it was. Got some Asmongold React. Again, catastrophe. Uh, things are just kind of going in that direction with the AAA stuff yet again, and, uh, uh, still, still so. And here I am, free to play gaming some gacha shit, and not spend any money on it, and still just having a good old time, just playing through the campaign, collecting the uh, the anime cast, the anime cast of fucking, oh, the anime cast of. Pals, and fucking just good and good old pals. Let me adjust the sizing on this. Oh my goodness! Bang, huge. Uh, what else is going on out there in the world? Oh, we have a Geb in the chat. Is that a who's that? Oh, am I crazy? Was there a name, dude? What? Uh, and what else is new? Uh, some, some politic news, I think some things that happened with that fucking, uh, Trump arrest, there's progression. I don't, I don't really know. Maybe he done it, dude, man, whatever it is he done did. Let's see, one sec. Hello? Is there a person in there? Testing, testing. A uh, Geb? Hello? Hello? I don't hear you for shit, dude. I'm I talking. Exist. Crank your volume up. Hello? What? Hello, hello. Oh, what's up, motherfucker? Oh. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Why am I so low? Huh? Why am I so low? Oh, I don't know. Let me try to fix your volume. Uh, talk a little bit. I'm talking. What is up, dude? You talk, okay. Maybe I can put you a little bit lower. Uh, talk again, please. I'm talking. What is whoa, up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay, I think you're alright. Kind of a little bit higher, I think. 
How's it going, man? Welcome to the fucking thing. We're in the thing, by the way. This is the thing. We're in the thing. We're in the thing. Dank. Yeah. Oh my god. Huh? Oh my god, dude. Yeah. How's it going? How are you doing, motherfucker? Uh, tired, but not too bad. Tired, wasted. I fucking love you, darling. Love you. Long day, dude. Long day at the old, uh... Man, you'd fucking lobster night. What? Lobster night. Am I fucking crazy or are you not saying English words? What? What? Lob lobster. Lobster. Lobster night. Lobster night. Yes. Oh. What the fuck is that? Oh, I guess that was like a thing that happened at the thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lobster was like, for who? Like a restaurant know, or some shit? 500 lobsters or some shit. 500 lobsters? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Was it a one lobster per person? There was 500 people eating a, a one lobster apiece? One lobster per person and then a platter of 10 lobsters per table. Jesus. What the f- That's fucking sick, actually. Did the season start and this is like all the fucking- like the the sickest top fisherman kind of uh, the catch, they're they're just uh, getting people warmed up to the lobster season or what is this? Uh, I don't know. It's just like a big uh, corporate party. Oh baby. Okay, so it wasn't like that. Huh? Oh, it's a big corporate party and they're chowing down on fucking just lobster a big fucking bullshit. Is what I'm hearing. Kind of lit. Was it a, what was the Italy, company? Italy. Are we allowed to just go? Tell me the, the, the industry, oh, God, the type of industry that they were in. I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, wow. no clue. They didn't pay attention at TBH. Oh, dude, I just realized. I have, I'm auto-playing the dailies for the fucking weeb shit, and I have the volume on <laughs> loud enough. That, uh. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever, I'm going to turn it off. It's fucking auto-playing the daily. Uh, Skill fight is. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Actually, no, I want to turn it on. People are fucking loving it, dude. For sure. Our millions of fans. Other than that, man, what else? Uh, how you fucking, uh, how you doing out there? Any, uh, any, any new, any new fucking reads in the Gebverse? Any new, uh, any new fucking directions you're going with the, uh, the knowledge? Uh, no, not really. I haven't been <clears throat> into the. <laughs> Podcasts, fucking audiobook reading, yeah. like meta for now. Oh, what the fuck? I just got attacked. Wait up, I gotta kill this thing before I get the fuck off this game. Kinda wanna get back into it, but yeah. I don't know when. I don't know when, I don't know why. I don't know how. Uh, do you, you don't know when, you don't know. Uh, shit, my brain's a little fucking toasted, dude. I don't know long as I was fucking, um, I did the, did the job interview day to day, but then that also rolled into like a hanging out a bunch kind of day. I oh, went and saw a buddy of ours who was in the uh, neighborhood-ish of the area, of the uh, area-ish that I was passing through to get back from the job thing. And hanging out with him, I ended up, ended up doing that for, like, many fucking hours, actually. Walked around a bunch, grabbed some food, got a little coffee. Uh, yeah, it was, it was nice. But it was yeah. also very long, yeah, it was also a very long day. And with that comes some tiredness. But, it's all right. Was catching up on a little bit of scuffed realtor that uh, I missed from last week. Um, was Amazing. also yeah. Also ate some junk. I'll say some a little bit of junk, dude. Went by um, by a greasy fucking uh, restaurant. Had a big old meal. Scuffed big time. Whole fucking mountain of fries with everything. It was pretty uh -huh. good. So everything, all in all, the uh, the the sunshine, the heat, the fucking the scuff, the uh being up from pretty early so it was a nice it was a nice day but a tiring one you know so i'm kind of on that yeah. level too the weather was top today was it you like that shit i wasn't too hot and it was like cool breezy i don't like how it's i don't like how it started it was like 
eight degrees, nine degrees Celsius in the morning when I woke up and I checked like how the day's gonna progress. And then within a couple hours, by the time I would be at the place I needed to be, it was like 22 degrees outside. So there was a whole, oh, shit. it was one of those where the morning started out chilly and then the weather would not just like increase like marginally, it would double fully <laughs> double by the time it double plus by the time you're a couple hours into the day that listen the sunshiny part is cute and all but you, you can't plan for that as a motherfucker that's just going out that has shit to do you're always going to be overdressed or underdressed for the day that that stuff that grinds my gears type shit you know what i mean that uh does not sit well with me still a nice sunshiny day but if you had to be out from before it was a nice sunshiny day and then you just had to live with the nice sunshiny day part of it, then uh, then you kind of get fucked on just by nature a little bit. True, true. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing right now, dude? Any gaming? Any chilling? Not really. No. Browsing. Oh, baby. What are you browsing on? Live stream fails. No shit. They still failing out there? They haven't figured it out? What's the newest, uh, what's the new, what's the hottest take that you have for the, the newest, freshest news and the hottest, the hottest fucking nastiest take? You see moving to kick maybe? No shit. Is it really? Maybe. For Gamba streams. Oh. Like as a, as a part time thing or like a full on yeah, dropping? Part. Just the Gamma stream. Oh, that's pretty sick. Does Train even Gamma stream on there much? I feel like I've opened Kick a couple of times that he's just he's never on. We're like, where the fuck is this guy? Never on, never seen. Yeah, I actually enjoyed that shit. I'm fucking. I don't know what it is in my brain <laughs> that found that. I would fall asleep to it. For I've literally in like the um, in the era there when the XUC Train uh, uh, Twitch yeah. Gamba stuff was happening, and it was all there was all the dramatics and the 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 move to canada and the the whatever like all that whole that whole scene a few months back i legit watched like hours of that shit i was so fucking invested not invested but i it was so interesting and so like foreign to me to just see like hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on fucking <laughs> internet slots per hour per minute even dude there was there was train streams where he was i pretty much every train stream that i tuned into honestly he was spinning on he was like uh he, he was playing on two different slots at a time and each one oh, yeah like pretty <laughs> much every one two slots at a time he'd have the main screen and then he'd have like a like a capture in capture kind of thing you know when you show like the the other screen in the screen and he'd have yeah. the other one playing. And they're both on. You could turn on a function auto spin on these slots. And then you could turn on a function turbo on these slots. So that way it skips like some of the spinning screen. So it happens like like at a like a third of the a third of the time, like three times as fast kind of thing. He would have turbo auto spin on two screens and the bet amount was max. And the bet amount for some games maxed out at like $1,500. So if he had two of the $1,500 ones, that's $3,000 a second. And I say a second because it literally is a second. On the turbo with two monitors, $3,000 a second on spins, dude. You would see amounts go down and up in the hundreds of thousands in a fucking blink of an eye. It was insanity. That's something kind of absurd. Something in my fucking dumb animal brain just enjoyed it, dude. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was so... It was just wicked. And there was some games that had, like, um... Basically, the way that it worked... I'm talking like a fucking psycho on this, actually. I, I literally watched this for fucking hours. There were some games... <laughs> there was some... Basically, the way the game is... No, the way... The, the basic system of it was... All the games had their different ways of getting bonuses. And there was, like, different rules around the bonuses. And that's what gets, like, the fucking shit firing off in your head. So, there's... It's not as simple as like seven, 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 seven kind of thing on the spin. There was all these, like the screens were bigger and more complex and there was angles and different special things that happen. And like, oh, this one is like a rich, uh, like a, like witchcraft theme. Then you have to get like pentagrams and like, it was all this whole kind of fucking wacky shit across all of them. But the basic rule is 
there's the base game spin bet amount and uh, like a certain level and then there's the bonuses and then there's like extra extra cool bonuses and then there's like if the bonus gets a bonus within the bonus you could reset the bonus and just keep fucking bonusing <laughs> and one thing that you could do is you could just buy the bonus so you would buy it and basically when when you hit a bo- like once this once the the necessary thing happens to get the bonus in the game you enter like like a special mode where there's extra ways to get more money and then and the game gives you like 10 spins so let's say the rule is you need five in a row and once you hit five in a row naturally you enter the bonus mode then within the bonus mode um there's like an extra rule that you could do there are a couple extra rules and and the game spins 10 times without charging you anything it's it's just it's 10 that's a, that's what the bonus is the bonus is 10 spins with extra rules kind of thing right but yeah. in the base game, you could just buy the bonus at like absurdly high amounts. Basically, the, the calculus behind it is, I guess they estimate that like in 100 spins, you'll get the bonus. So you could just pay for 100 spins up front and buy a bonus kind of thing. But the thing is, in, in the bonus, the bonus again is, is 10 free spins with some extra rules within that thing you're not guaranteed anything you're literally not guaranteed a single thing and if you play the game just naturally and you'll 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 get them you 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 could get it and then it goes it gives you money or you loot or you don't get anything and you kind of just live with that but for the real like real goblin fucking brain like degenerate gambling addicts <laughs> like as you see and train they're just buying bonuses back to back to back and when I say a bonus is estimated at 100 times a spin and the game is they're paying $1,000 a spin, that means they're pressing a button, click, and it's $100,000 like that. And then the game spins 10 times in bonus mode and everything's flashy. And they would come out of some bonuses, dude, with zero bucks and then just press it again. <laughs> and that's like $100,000, $100,000, $100,000. And like, all right, I guess I got to add more money. And they put in another 500 grand and then... A hundred thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, and they would go like four or five bonuses without getting anything. And in real time, they've played the game for forty-five seconds. Like they've played it for three minutes, like for these little things, ding, ding, ding. And it's but they bought the bonus right off the bat instead of getting it like natty, and that's hundreds of thousands of that. That allows you to spend such an ins when you max fucking bet and then buy bonuses. You are spending. It would, dude. It was, it would, fuck. It was nuts. It was fucking crazy. It was so fucking crazy, actually. <laughs> and I tune in, dude. I would, t- I tune in for when that was the hype thing. And uh, I would, I would tune in. I'd have it on in the background, and I'd look. I'd be like gaming or doing whatever, maybe working or whatever the fuck it is that I had going on at the time. <laughs> and I'd look, and I'd be like, oh, he's uh he's at three hundred and twenty thousand. And you. You follow, you fall, and you see him go up and down and up and down, and he's rejuicing. And then you look away, you do some other shit, you close the stream, you come back four hours later, he's still on train now. You you watch a bit before bed, you go to sleep, you wake up the next day, he's still on. You tune in a little bit, you close it, you start your day, you do things, you eat lunch, you check again, he's still on. You're like, dude, and then you go back and check the VODs. I will actually just pull these up because I don't even know if people that are watching this with fucking video believe me. He had VODs of like 48 hour fucking streams, like back to back. Train was streaming. In you would literally I would you could wake up, watch all day, you would just watch intermittently or whatever, go to sleep, wake up the next day, do the same thing until bedtime, go to sleep, wake up again. And he would still be on sometimes. Yeah. Remember those fucking. I'd have shifts at like 5 a.m. Tell <laughs> me. I just checked with Twitch and like I see him 30 hours. Yeah. And but the thing is, he did 30 hours the day before, but not like the day before, but like as many days before as you. He was just. It was just 30 hours and then before you knew it, it was another 30 hours. You're like, where was the sleep part? Where was the. Like, what the fuck happened? It was fucking degenerate 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 gambling shit and something about like i don't really have an inter i've never been a gambling of all the fucking vices i've never really been 
a dude that like needs to fucking spin slots. I didn't particularly feel like I needed to after watching that. It, I guess it just it just did that for me, and I didn't have to. I don't know what the fuck. But Does like, it get you going, dude. Dude, it's kind of, it's fun. Like you're you're stoked when you see like a like a like a win a little bit. You're like it's it's legit. You feel the little the little fucking the little bing 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 happening in your brain when like the fucking the lights are flashing. Like oh, they got the bonus in the bonus. Like like you <laughs> dude, you do feel it. You do feel it with no money on the line. You still feel it. It's still cool to see it happen. At least yeah. for me, it was. I can't speak for fucking. Every, I can't find the vods. It looks like they might not be available anymore. Uh, but it was still cool. I still dug that shit. But like. I don't really have the the itch to to do that nor do i have the funds to even i mean nobody has enough money to start gambling it's fucking you know like especially slots gambling like that's yeah there's no skill to it there's no like art there's no you can't play it to, to increase your odds you are literally just pumping in you just press button and then the fucking machine goes however it goes you know like that uh no i don't have an interest particularly but the games are designed like some of them are designed really fucking good and it's 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 it, once you see enough of it and you kind of get a feel of the ins and outs like wh how how uh and but by design good i don't it's not like a fucking fucking triple a title fucking like fucking god of warp i mean design good as in it gets it like turns on the like the shit happens in your brain where it's supposed to happen when it's supposed to happen even as somebody just watching it happen 100 percent. i mean there was people in the chat that were always hating on it so i guess the, that would mean that it's not like that for everybody but i i saw i saw things and i was like I, the little ding ding sometimes dude it was, it was fun <laughs> crazy I was talking about train wrecks, XUC shit again. Uh, oh, you said you might move for Gamma, yeah. yeah. Dude, okay. even, you know, even the little case opening streams that we do in here, like every now and then, that's been a bit of a meme for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. It's, it's a couple of bucks, but it is fun. It is, it's fucking, ooh, it's a little spicy. It's a little like, I like it. The, uh, the little Gamba and the Gacha game that I was just playing too. I haven't dropped any money yeah. on that, but it's cool. I'm, uh, where am I adding that shit? I have like a bunch. Have you been doing side quests at all? Or no, you're not side questing? Oh, uh, not yet. I should, because he gives like gems and shit. Dude, there's actually, I've done, I've done basically all of them. I basically do every side quest before I move on kind of thing. Uh, maybe not all of them, but at several points, I've done like a bunch. I haven't moved very far, but a lot of the side quests, uh, you have to come back and do like the next day to continue. Not a lot of them. But oh. there is a chunk of them that are multi-part, and the the only way to do the other parts is to come back the next day. And uh, I guess you could just line up, like, fucking ten of those and just, like, crank them all out over the course of four or five days. But uh, you all, all to say that you don't get all the rewards just by doing everything in your log right off the bat. There's multi-part ones that have delays, like that, that have, like, things where it's like, oh, the, there's an issue, it's not... Like the yeah, the story is is uh, it takes place in parts for some of the side quests that involve like overnight things for the characters or whatever, and it's uh, you have to come back days later. <sighs> but I did get like a oh fuck! I just realized I forgot to fuck. I'm gonna reopen the fucking game. <laughs> I forgot to do that dispatch shit, man. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Hongai, well, what stream I st what screen am I streaming this one? Hongku Staru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else, man? Tell me some kind of fucking uh, philosophical fucking uh, a query or fucking uh, thing, dude. Hit me with some fucking. Uh, yeah, my fucking brain juice is flowing a little bit, dude. Hit me with some thoughts of yours. Let's start with something just uh, very direct. What's like a, what's something you've come across in in this like this wave of uh, of studying that type shit? That was like a question that made you think about yourself and be like, dang, what is my answer to that? Or like, how do I engage with this fucking dynamic and uh, thinking? 
Give me one of those. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like automatic now. Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, like I don't know, just give me one. You mean like a thing? Like, like a thing? Uh, yeah. Recent one is more like neuroscience <clears throat> shit, I guess. Oh, what does that mean? Just like understanding like your brain and like chemical, like the chemicals in them and how they react and stuff. Cool. So like, the weekend was a big party, big yeah. party day. Fucking, you know, dopamine and shit, fucking alcohol and like cigarettes and other stuff. Yeah. Oh, so, next day you don't feel as good, you know. But <laughs> you just gotta tell yourself because what you do is like you spike your dopamine levels and then the next day like there's a crash of dopamine. So yeah, you're like yeah. below baseline dopamine. But you just gotta tell yourself like it's just for the moment, it'll pass and type shit. And you start doing like stuff regardless, even if you don't wanna do them. Real and true, yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, that being like uh, okay, I get what you're saying, being like uh like uh one sec. Be like yeah, you're just like oof, this is fucking rough dude. <laughs> I'm doing some cinematography thing. I'm just zooming in on my character. I'm just gonna run around with them. It's gonna be the visuals. Yeah. Um, nice. Oh. Um. Yeah. Like the thing of uh, being a master, kind of of your own machine thing, by like yeah. uh, knowing, like what you are, and uh, yeah, understanding like the fucking mechanisms of the brain a little bit. For sure. Yeah. Like. Uh, I know. Um. Yeah. It's mind over matter too. In the in in the for the thing specifically of actually still doing the shit you gotta do and not really giving a fuck. Like, uh, there was the Saturday party, but I had also gone out a little bit the Friday before to celebrate uh, a bit with the same same person actually and a couple of other people. It wasn't like a big shindig. It was just like a, a little hangout that rolled into the night uh, heavily enough into the two-ish three-ish o'clock range and then by the time you actually sleep you know a little bit later and then yeah. the saturday at the train i woke up to, i had the boxing in the morning and i spent literally like up until i woke up i uh, took a little rinse kind of shower right off the bat to, to wake up to get the 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 fucking diet that's like a little bit of a trick kind of thing to just get the wake up happening and yeah. then i uh got that out of the way so that I would be ready to head out should I decide to, but I didn't actually decide to right up until like the last second. I got back in bed. I sat there. I just kind of looked at my phone. I was like, I'm not actually, you know, I'm on like fucking like two and a half, three hours of sleep. I'm not going to train in boxing right now in a fucking dusty garage. <laughs> I'm going to die. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like I was out fucking too late. I'll just take the L on this one. Hang over. It is what it is. And that whole week I had kind of, taken else i um i just wasn't really working out a lot i usually try to do i usually try to do little weights workouts throughout the week but i hadn't even really yeah. done that i was just kind of uh it was already a schlep like a schlep mode kind of week so i sat there in bed and i was like ah fuck and i looked at my phone a little bit looked at the time like i don't have too much time left before i'd have to leave Sad, looked at the phone a little bit. Looked at the time. I, if I'm not going to this. Like I gotta, I gotta decide now. Sad, looked at my phone a little bit. Looked at the time. Like ah, oh, fuck it, I'm leaving, dude. Fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> I got up and I left. I went and took uh, took the metro. Went to where I had to be. Uh, trained heavily for uh, the fucking sesh. Uh, grabbed the coffee afterwards. Grabbed a sandwich. Came back home intended to take a nap before going to the then saturday party but couldn't fit it into the day because uh, that was already gonna be a day i had other shit to do i had to do laundry and stuff like that and uh, i live in an apartment building where there's machines that are shared and the machines were in use for a chunk of time and it was like like a 30-ish minute chunk of time so it's not really enough to squeeze in a nap as much as it's an amount of time that you just kind of let it pass and then you jump the fucking machines and you load your shit in there so that you get in before somebody else. So I had to do that. 
Yeah. And then in between, did a little bit of cleaning up the apartment. And before you know it, it's party time for the next fucking thing because I started with a relatively early dinner and then that ran relatively late. And you just, you just take the fucking... Just do what you gotta do. You take some fucking damage. Um, and you, you get the rest when you need it. But also... Yeah, you uh, you mind over matter that shit a little bit. And you... You fucking... You do what you gotta do. Regardless yeah. of the feels. A little bit. And obviously... Doing that too much or... Pushing yourself for that too much. Eh, good or bad or whatever, but... Uh, there's a there's a certain amount that you just could, and uh, maybe you just fucking should, dude. Maybe you should squeeze a little bit of life, squeeze a little bit of extra life out of life. You know what I mean? Just to uh, yeah. just to fucking push it. You don't have to push it to the limits or burn the candle at both ends all the time necessarily, but yeah. So I get what you're saying on that on that end with the uh, understanding. I think it was a you were talking about like. There's like two, two concepts, construct, constructive and de constructive habits or something. Oh, yeah, 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 that's definitely a way that I've looked at things. Yeah, constructive yeah. and destructive habits. I think as long as you spend more time on your constructive habits, and your destructive habits, you're on the good path. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's and what what the 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 more time like what that comes down to exactly is uh, something that you got to figure out over time and that's like uh, yeah. yeah yeah i was i did talk about that i have talked about that a little bit because there was basically there was a point where i had no constructive habits i literally everything i was doing was in terms of like strictly in terms of like health and like longevity and uh, how long you're just gonna be on the planet and alive and well everything i was doing was destructive i was just uh, watching movies, uh, we're playing video games, sitting down a lot, I was smoking a lot of cigarettes, uh, going to a lot of bars and stuff, everything that I did for fun, even just smoking a lot of weed and just sitting down and things, everything that I was doing for fun was uh, things that were uh, killing me, you know, like, yeah. there's nothing good in it in terms of, nothing really that kept me, like, uh, physically alive and engaged and stuff, not, not a thing, nothing that I did habitually or that I enjoyed doing or that I fit into schedules even other things that you just do just to do i wasn't working anything that involved moving around there was school things during these years too and there's a lot of just things that are not constructive or destructive like actually straight up destructive like poisoning poisoning your goddamn self <clears throat> and uh the two the the that realization along with like a bunch of other things that happen in life but that realization and um, the beginning of the kind of change into the other direction came with uh, the gym a little bit. The gym was like the first like cool constructive kind of habit and it was awesome and it felt nice. But I had started going to the gym when I first started the gym. I hadn't dropped like other dumb shit. It was, uh, it was still very much going out and like up to no good you know causing trouble in the neighborhood type shit i think i remember <laughs> you'd go to like uh personal training sessions just wrecked yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah i got into the gym there was like outside of the, uh, yeah, outside of like the home the home exercise stuff which i was just doing for a bit like when i started taking uh, training stuff seriously and started going to the gym i pretty much immediately got a personal trainer because uh, the work that I was doing at the time, the place I was working for, was um, they had a budget worked into what they were paying me that was for fitness stuff, for health things. And I was like, dude, if I'm not taking advantage of this, there's actually just $500 or whatever the amount was that I'm just not being paid, like, every year. Like, what? I'm fucking... St like, I'm literally being paid to go to the gym like this is yeah. money that i'm being given if i don't use this i'm actually a fucking stupid person so i just did and uh and it, the there was a gym not too far from the place i was working and it turned out to be a gym that uh my sister ended up was uh, working at 
she had just started there she uh so she i kind of had an in and she, uh not you know not that you need an in to start at a gym but it was cool because she wanted to do uh she wanted to get a personal trainer too she wanted to become a personal trainer she did become i mean currently right now she is but this is at the time when she was kind of taking courses taking the doing the things to get the certifications or whatever and uh, figuring that kind of life out but she still wanted to go to someone go to a trainer as a trainee to get that as a kind of experience to get the the being trained experience for one just like to, to do it to go to the gym like to, to just be a person at the gym and stuff um and to just better like uh uh, better just to get an exercise regimen to like work through it and do that for own personal health stuff but also just to to experience the trainer trainee dynamic from the other side you know uh, which is cool so we ended up doing it was semi-private trainings we go me and her and there was a trainer person we were going to and it was cool and uh yeah there were times i hadn't i didn't x like the party stuff not that you have to either i ended up eventually like doing a hard hard xing of uh all things fucking party for like a full year that's not something that anybody necessarily needs to do but at this time it was very far from that i was still like completely completely into fucking jamming like often and yeah there were times where i uh yeah i would go i'd go fucking still hard like with no holding no holding back like kind of fucking party and shit like just out there until last call plus like just the fucking till the fucking till the fucking the bakers are waking up dude and there's <laughs> the dough type shit like still fucking birds are chirping and you just feel like a fucking mess kind of mornings and then you go and train the next day just got had to I didn't. I don't think I missed a single personal training. I showed up the the most the the furthest I pushed it for showing up to one of those trainings was literally not going home and then having my sister bring gym clothes with bring my clothes with her to the gym, and then like the, the furthest I pushed it is literally the limit. There was no, there's no point past that. I pushed it to a, there was one day specifically where I was out all night and then I ended up like at uh, somebody's place. I don't even remember the details of it, to be honest. I don't know if it was like a... I don't know what the fuck. Just a getting late thing or just a hanging out thing or just a whatever. But it was it was like a... Out to the point where the trainings at like the next day at 10 a.m. I just I just haven't been in yet. I haven't gone home yet. And it's like like uh, fucking 8.30 in the morning. I am still awake. And it's like, hey, can you uh grab a grab a t-shirt and some shorts and bring them with you to the gym? I'm just going to meet you there. I'm not, I'm not coming. I'm not going to the house like are you fucking stupid I was like oh, i did that <laughs> like and then getting to the gym and just reeking like fucking cigarettes and booze <laughs> and you're sweating the first thing we would do and the trainer doesn't go fuck is like dude and i it had come up conversationally a little bit about like fucking dumb kind of party shit now but it never to that kind of extent but it's like we're not gonna not do the session like you showed up you do as much as you feel like doing i was like i'll do fucking yeah. everything it's like, all right, well, the first thing we're doing is we're fucking, we're running. Like, this is uh, treadmill shit. Like, this is the warm-up. Like, we always fucking do with this or, like, rowing or whatever kind of thing. Some cardio to kind of get the juices pumping. And I'm just running and just sweating out, like, pure, like, pure fucking Jameson type shit. Like, just fucking, like, dude, you stink, dude. Like, a fucking, like, an actual entire pub is just fucking leaking out of you. It was gnarly. It did the whole thing. It squats, deadlifts type shit. Like, it was a fucking... It was a day. I just fucking did it, dude. And, uh... It was pain. It was... It was... But that was the thing. That was the, the, the thing of the, the destruction... The destructiveness that needed to be... The thing of the destruction. It was, it was like... It's, it, was a compl- it was a complex... And, uh... And very significant thing for me. There was destructive destruction not just in terms of like my destructive habits but the 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 concept of like you have to destroy something in order to create and seeing like the destructive and cre and constructive things as like a like a necessary kind of dichotomy yeah that was a thing too and like um like really then not this not just the destructive and constructive in terms of habits but destroying and creating in terms of 
like myself like the actual person that i am in the world the the self the the me the human fucking being uh like slowly eroding like the old me and building something new through <coughs> through uh recognizing and prioritizing these other these other habit things and it, it started really it started really with uh with the gym the gym was the first counterbalance to the party stuff the first like it was the first the first guy on the team dude it was the first uh yeah and then the first fucking I think like boxing being added yeah well, added, um, like help yeah when boxing was added i was already uh boxing was added that was like a pandemic times and pandemic i had already uh i was already in like the the stop everything kind of life in the pandemic times uh, the, the year that i did have nothing but i was because then there was the tie-ins and mental health stuff and whatever but all to say that like day one of of doing the constructive habit stuff it was like you're going to the gym i will go to the gym one time this week and like still go out like multiple to whatever it was with fucking four times or three to whatever it was yeah. and then slowly just ratioing it down and being like oh dude well i'm and that goes on for a couple of weeks you're like well i'm not actually like gaining anything here and uh I'm like all right well fucking what about like uh go to the gym a couple more times maybe i go to the gym three times this week i mean i go out twice and like you eventually get to that ratio where it's actually there's there's a plus one on fucking healthy days but even that is not quite it's not satisfactory like you are really getting into it with the healthy stuff and like you're feeling it and it's it's the weight of that it just starts becoming more important and it starts being something that i just valued more and then it's like it was down to like um there was a comfortable point where it was like i'm going out one night every two weeks and i'm going to the gym four times four to five times a week that's what it was so it was like it was like 10 workouts to one fucking party night kind of thing that's cool and whatever the ratio is that needs to exist for any person it's just it's just about finding at least for me like the first part is understanding the constructive and destructive habits then the second part just trying a balancing and just playing the fucking the game of it just living trying the balancing act of it and seeing what it is that <laughs> makes sense and then making the necessary changes but then in like a more macro, like a more zoomed out kind of way, I started looking at it as uh, once I'd done that for a bit and still still felt lacking or or then like change that and maybe, you know, every now and then there's things you just have to go to. There's events, there's just, there's stuff, you know, you just, you got to take some damage for the team, you know, you got to fucking yeah. have a party for the boys, sure. you know, it's not like it, it doesn't fit in the schedule anymore. That's just the way it is. There's just like, oh, well, Turns out back to back, there's like a, there's a this birthday and a that thing and a holiday and a fucking this and a party here and, a, and then it's a fucking, anyways, they get to a point though where it's like, uh, considering how long of a time before the workouts ever got serious, there was just pure, it was just all day, like the main modus operandus, like the fucking, th the, th the guy driving the ship was fucking destruction mode there was a point and there was also the times of other things pandemic world falling apart mental health things and whatnot but there was a point i was like i actually need a period of time of straight no bad stuff because even like playing this game in the middle of making the balance and finding the balance uh, when i zoom out and i look at like the whole lifeline kind of thing the amount of time that was spent just all fucking animal mode <laughs> um was enough so that it, th there there needed to be a full-on like just as like fucking monk mode counterbalance kind of thing and uh yeah that uh that came out of that a little bit and it's everybody's everybody plays the game their own fucking way they figure their shit out however they need to figure it out with a constructive destructive um destroying in order to create 
construct that those things being like a a, a, a cycle thing, a cyclical thing, like a a dichotomy, a fucking balance. And seeing that in the in the day to day, but then understanding that the day to day becomes the week to week, becomes the year to year, and if it does become that, then like what that means for the whole fucking thing of it and playing all that shit, yeah. 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 It's Sometimes cool. you gotta let go to create something new. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in that for sure. The thing is where where it becomes more complicated is that there's other stats, you know? This is all looked at through the lens of uh, longevity uh, and uh, like physical fitness and uh, health in that sense. But in the time in the time when you're engaging in quote unquote destructive habits in terms of on that metric, things that are destructive in terms of your uh, physical health or diet or whatever like that that kind of thing, there's also other metrics on which there are there positives like you're building friendships you're building social relationships you're in in these things that you're doing that are destructive the destructive is is one way of seeing it they are still positive and meaningful in other ways there's still like uh a real like a, a fucking a beauty and like a real love in like the, the the friendships that are developed in like these fucking degenerate party settings and the fucking human beings that you spend time with, the little stories you tell, and like the the feelings of just being a motherfucker, like out at night just smoking a cigarette on a fucking street corner and just kind of looking around and being like, just being alive a little bit, you know, like in in the world, yeah, just uh, partying and fucking letting yourself forget about things and just feel good and like alive and in the moment, and the uh, what that does for you in terms of your your thinking. What that does for you in terms of uh, your place socially, your self-image, your your inter, your I don't know, just your social fucking that that part of you getting laid to and shit, just basic animal shit, like things that are fucking also fucking important, but it's the different degrees, and you gotta figure out what's what and where's where. Something's bad in one way; it's not bad in all ways, but could be bad in a couple bad for your health and bad for your fucking wallet those are two pretty big bads and that's why uh yeah, yeah you end up needing to mediate i think uh yeah that's what it comes down to i think for that shit but it's cool yeah. that's cool everybody does that everybody everybody engages in these little fucking micro fucking calculations for all kinds of decisions but it's maybe not as like like maybe not with as much like in maybe not as intentionally and maybe not um with as much uh willingness to make drastic fucking changes maybe maybe not as often i don't know but everybody does that shit i just i know that in my own my own thing of it i know that I know what I I know what I did. I know how much I've like flipped fucking things. I know how uh, how much I've changed living one way to living another way, and I know how that felt. I know that's possible, and yeah, like you were saying, kind of like how we got into this in the first place. Sometimes you just do what you gotta do, dude. Even if, uh, even if there's fucking damage involved. Sometimes it's the rhythm of the night. Hell yeah. Off and off. <laughs> Basically every night for years, yeah, actually for me. It's the best though, dude. There's an honesty in it, you know? There's a, there's a beauty in it. And a honesty in, um, in the goddamn rhythm of the night. There's a... When you're like piss drunk at like 10 45, 11 p.m. on a fucking Tuesday, uh, the conversations you're having having with those with with those fucking people out there, dude, they're real. Those yeah. are some fucking some damaged folks, dude. You're talking some fucking talking some damaged fucking people, and uh, 
nobody's trying to hide nothing or fucking be any sort of way. At least not in my experience. At least not in the... I also, like, picked good spots to be that level of fucking retarded into. I had, like, some places that were full-on home away from home. Yeah. And, yeah, there's, like, a... There's a beauty in it. There's an honesty in it. There's a fucking reality in it. That's, uh... It's appealing. It's not just, like... It's not just, uh... It's not just, like, numbness and just fucking, like, ooh, whatever. There's, there's, still, there's still heart in it. There's still love in like fucking degenerate party shit there's a lot of heart and a lot of love in it honestly <clears throat> that's what that's fucking but yeah and that's yeah. important too that's what comes it's like yeah th that stuff having those experiences maybe not as often maybe not the through maybe not through as much fucking booze and whatnot maybe not in uh, in those hours uh, on those days of uh, that many days but it's again you got it's a thing it's a calculation you got to do a little bit you got to figure out what's worth because you got to live a little motherfucker you gotta you gotta take some fucking damage you gotta fuck around you gotta have something what's that joey diaz thing i mean you gotta have fucking something you know the one i'm talking about where he's like you ever meet a motherfucker that doesn't have nothing you ever meet a fucker that just doesn't do nothing doesn't have nothing there's no thing oh yeah, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> he's like, Dude, wake up in the morning tell me you wake up in the morning suck toes tell me you do heroin Dude, tell me fucking something don't tell, you gotta do something he's gotta yeah yeah dude, sometimes i understand that i understand that angle dude oh we got yeah. some beeps i wasn't even noticing these oh dude we got some two fucking beepers in the beeps hello beeps beeps we are in oh, the oh. show motherfucker by the way we are in the oh, show motherfuckers show. plural we got two motherfuckers and there is a show we as are i've been enjoying the show i don't know doing, doing beautiful things oh hell yeah um, there's a nice uh there's a nice quote that that says you don't smoke drink or do drugs you don't necessarily live longer it just feels longer Rip, big rip <laughs> actually that's, that's kind of sick <laughs> it just feels longer dude yeah yeah true actually dude in some cases there's fucking <clears throat> there's enough uh, complex uh, genetic variability that yeah trying to um Trying to out, trying to, to outlive, uh, trying to escape death, dude, with uh, with the strict regimens is not always the way to do it. Yeah, there are motherfuckers that are gonna live short or long. Fucking uh, whatever happens, happens, dude. Some there's a uh, there's happenstance, there's circumstance, there's fucking uh, the the goddamn will of the gods. There's uh, genetic permutations. There's fucking uh, freak occurrences. So yeah, you fucking listen. You don't you don't fucking uh, you don't gotta you don't gotta fucking go walking around or don't you don't gotta go running with scissors type shit you know what i'm saying you don't want to be a crazy man but you gotta fucking i live a little dude see what happens fuck you don't want yeah you don't want the time you've been here to be too much of a drag nobody gets out alive right that's another one that's a uh, thing about life nobody gets out alive no you can't win there's no beating the game there's no new game plus there's no uh there's no fucking uh you be the final boss and then and then it's it's completed and it's it's uh it's it's good and it's a pat on the back and it's it's a it's a credit screen and the stats it's like a fucking so no, nobody gets out alive you know you don't you don't take anything to the next life you don't fucking you are what you are and whatever people remember and eventually they forget and fucking uh, pop goes the weasel you know fucking whatever i think you get like stats and achievements when you die it's Dude. like there's a screen that shows up and it's like oh Hell yeah, that'd be sick. If there's a full on, if there's like a, like just a book that you could ask it whatever, and it gives you like leaderboards type shit of fucking whatever. It's like, yeah. where am I in the world? Like, this is how you place. There were there were this many people who played the game <laughs> yeah. before you. Yeah. And this is this is your rank. Yeah, dude. Where where do I rank in terms of like uh, I don't know, fucking, uh, fucking. Not uh, even rank, but maybe the like achievements. You know, like uh, like dude, even in Dota, it's you know, I'll this is rank. this is how many how many tormentors you got. This is how many globally tormentors were destroyed. <laughs> I'll take I'll take hours hours watching movies. I'll take stats. I'll take fucking. I'll take um, uh, how good of a fuck are you in the global leaderboards, dude? There's some like God. The God is always watching fucking stat, and you could be like top top one billion type shit, dude. How Someone's good keeping track, dude. Dude, God is watching at all times. It was actually Gem. You were in here when we were. So I don't know how we got onto this. It was like a we're just cracking some joke we we're talking about steam accounts and we were like uh what if uh, steam achievements was was actually the way to get into heaven and our boy reckless tone has been trying to tell us all along but like, like you can't were you in here for that 
Remember it that? would. No. There was some. I don't know how the fuck we got on it, but I don't know. It was funnier then. There was somebody saying something, and we were talking about Steam. I don't know Steam games and fucking a game with easy achievements or something. We have a buddy in here, uh, Reckless Tone, who he loves. He's all about the fucking achievement collecting. That's his thing. He gets on. He, he has like his Steam profiles all decked out with like games that he's 100% completed and he has like just a couple things and he plays the shit out of them. But it's not like yeah. like online competitive shit. It's things that just have big grind achievements and he gets into little like communities and he fucking parties up with people and they'll just like sit in a lobby for fucking six hours shooting each other in the head to get like an 8 million headshot achievement type shit. Like they will just do that. And somehow we we were we were along the line of a fucking joke of like what if the, what if the actual what if heaven is real and the the fucking the 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 rule set for it like to get in is steam achievements and Tony's because he also <laughs> he also had like a religious kind yeah, of background. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if Tony's been trying to tell us, but like he's he's not allowed to say it. But he's just kind of like, hey guys, you guys should really look at my achievements. Like I have a lot of them. Hey guys, you should really join these these groups with me. Like we're having a good time in there. Everybody's hanging out. We're getting achievements together. It's really cool. It's like I don't know. I fucking I thought you were in there, but maybe you weren't. Oh, we got a Doncast post. What the fuck? I'm not clicking that button. God bless. What the fuck? Live fast. Should I click it? Am I gonna go deaf? Is this like a fucking what is this? I uh, I think you'll be fine. I'm not gonna go deaf. But you're talking about live a little. Live fast. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What the what? fuck <laughs> is this, dude? This is Matrix 5, dude. This is the Matrix nobody watched. Dude, wake up in the morning, do a little bit of heroin, do a little bit of uh, office chair. Office chair down the skating. street, fucking gaming. Office chair syndrome. Hell yeah. So what do you do that's unique in life? Me? No, but, well, you as well, but... This guy does some unique shit, you know? It's true. Can't, I don't know. Can't, per can't purpose to do this. Like, imagine you show up to an interview like, oh, what do you do? Well, I uh, skateboard with office chairs. Yeah, I fucking... I'm quite good at it. I'm roly-poly-oly, dude. I'm the roly-poly-oly. I'm just out there. Oh, what the fuck? Did I just click? <laughs> yeah. That's a good... That's a good reason to have the stat screen. That's a good reason to have the end of life heaven stat screen, dude. You could be like... What it, what is the thing that I've is there a uniqueness to the entire if you take the whole fucking lifespan of the this existence of mine, is there something that I'm like Guinness World Record on or is there something that I'm like unique? Is there a thing that I've done? Maybe a sentence that I've said that I just no one else had ever said or like a like a an idea that actually had never been ideated before. That would be a cool end of life stat screen fucking thing to figure out. Unique achievement, dude. Yeah. Does anybody have any zero 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 like? one percent of players have this achievement yeah it's like just just fucking something so absolutely psychotic just something that you just imagine one time that just it's like that's horrendous dude we mark that down in the god book like no one's ever even fucking conceived of something like that before you're like hell yeah brother that's me that's your boy and then what do you do you just like spend heaven comparing stats or you just move on i mean you have the option you have the option to fucking compare the stats i'm sure i'm sure there's like you do that for the first year and then you know people get over it it's like oh he's new here you know and then you just still watch. talk about his stats yeah then you just like watch you get over it play. at one point and then just watch everybody else play heaven is just like twitch it's just like a fucking amazon final form type shit once like the singularity happens and we're all fucking hive mind brain that's what heaven is it's just everybody uploading their brain to like the google fucking amazon verse and we're just like we ascend to like a fucking 18th dimension and then we're just watching like earth get recreated and repopulated and relived in by ourselves and we're just like we're just like twitch twitch we are the viewer and the streamer dude in the fucking metaverse of life can you can you chat can you comment can you 100 percent, yeah 100 percent, yeah coaching can be pretty cool i think i think that's a concept that exists people are like oh guardian angel watching over me and it's like that's your coach yeah that's coach that's pings you're just getting pings just Some, getting pings somebody's just dropping dicks on the map dude but they can't chat they can only ping no they could, they could draw dicks on the map a little bit they could fucking leave letters little fucking letters in your alphabet soup some people don't watch map unfortunately true some people yeah <laughs> true they don't see the signs no they don't, dude. I'm worried they're trying. The angels are trying our best. The angels, of course, being us, the metaverse, us. Are, they're trying our best. Trying their best, but also our best. They just can't do it, dude. 
can do it, goddamn. There's an energy that exists that guides us. I believe in it. Tell me about it. Is it Dota 2 coaching? Is it uh, watching replays? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But. Bulldozers are showing up in your stream, dude. Imagine. Blessing. Yeah, no. Every now and then, you do feel like you've 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 like tugged on a thread of like the fabric of fucking reality a little bit. Every now and then, you do feel like you are in the exact place that you're supposed to be, and it's like there's a maybe it's it's just your just you feeling good and your brain's like fucking uh, like aggrandizing or like fucking romanticizing. But there are definitely moments where it's like some fucking muse of the universe, some like fucking like a fucking. Athena fucking in my fucking brain hole dude told whispered to me like dude walk down this fucking street and then it just turned out to be something you know every now and then you do like you you'll feel you'll feel the significance of a decision in like a like an almost fucking otherworldly fucking like a spiritual fucking way dude every now and then there's a fucking tingle right in the fucking right in the heartstrings dude that just kind of fucking wiggle waggles and you you feel the significance of what you're about to do with what if you do it that does that does happen whether or not it's like a, a maybe i'm legitimately fucking psychic or psychotic or fucking a, a ultra fucking uh, uh vibes brain or uh maybe there are actually guide oracles in the world or maybe it's just fucking mumble jumbo retardation but yeah but i know what you're saying when you say that yeah there's like a some some shit Ender John's. Yeah, my moment was, uh, it was like two days after the the party. I'm like still recovering, yeah. still like anhedonia, fucking low dopamine. Anhedonia? What the fuck is yeah. that? What does that mean? Anhedonic. What the fuck is that? What's that? What does it mean to be head? Oh, hedon like hedonistic, hedonic. And hedonic, oh. you don't take like really pleasure from anything. Okay, 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 sick. Okay, so you were anhedonic. Yeah, so your dopamine reserves are like fried. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. And I put a playlist and like I'm just listening to music. Then a certain song comes yeah. Castles in the Sky. Hell yeah. It finishes, I look at my phone. It's 4 4 4 a.m. Hell yeah, dude. That's blessed. Dude, I had the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually blessed. For the boys that don't know, uh, Castle in the Sky uh, and 444 are both significant in the same way because they are things that relate to uh, Geb's favorite DJ. It's a, it's a song and, uh, and uh, his number. Right? Did I get that? I'm um, expecting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His whole thing was like four, four, four. Yeah, his thing was four, four, four. Yeah, four, four, four. Yeah, and that's so for it to be four, four, four. When that song with the significance of both of those things is a beautiful, is a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful goddamn thing. Literally cured me. Literally Mandela <laughs> up, dude. There have been, dude. There was another significant fucking Mandela that happened recently. Actually, what the f fuck was it again? Fuck. That was a good one, dude. Oh, the birthday. The birthday, man. That was yes, sick. Dude, that yeah. was funny. That was getting into the place, rolling, rolling in. And the whole time I'm uh I ended up I was gonna I was gonna bus Metro down from uh from my part of town to that part of town. But it was it was uh it was long and there was just a couple delays and then it ended up not making sense to do it and the party was on a bit of a strict schedule for at least the dinner part. So I had to be there on time. So I just I just took the L and I, I, I paid I paid a ride. I called an Uber. And the whole time that I'm in the thing, the whole time that I'm in the thing, I I'm very aware of like the music that's playing. Cause the music, it was like a, it was very much uh like a dude that was born around my year, if not a couple years older, Tate like a radio kind of uh, punkish, rockish kind of maybe not radio, but just shit that was just kind of popping at the time. There was like a little bit of Green Day in there. There was a little bit like a System of a Down. There was like a fucking Linkin Park song. Like it was very much in that world of music. And every song that's playing, and like the dude driving is kind of like singing along to the song. It's a little bit like, ah, oh, this guy's fucking. This guy's kind of chilling. Dude. This this is a dude 
although my uh, my taste in music uh, has changed a lot, I've liked to explore a lot of things. As you guys know, fucking, if fucking finding fucking new music is super cool to me. I love sharing songs and whatever. There's still like a little soft spot for that that kind of fucking like greasy kind of angsty fucking kid that was like dude, Lincoln Park, dude. Like that that guy's still in there. So just being in the in the ride with this dude and the Lincoln Park song and this song and that song, like I was very aware of the playlist. And we're pulling up to the party. And it's literally, you could see it in the screenshot. I'm not going to open it up because there's like directions on it, which is a little, eh, whatever, fuck. But you can see it in the screenshot. A song comes on. And I'm going to a birthday now. And there's a band, which is one of the person, in because uh, it's twins, one of the persons whose birthday it was, his favorite band. And there's also like a whole inside jokey fucking, f- fucking group, friend group lore for like the funniness of that band and this dude and his fucking love for it and whatnot the song that start a, a song starts playing uh as we were fucking pulling up on the place uh and it's that song it ended exactly as we pulled in and again you could see in the fucking picture that i, and I told the dude driving like dude i gotta take a picture of this i gotta send this to the motherfucker whose birthday i'm going through because it's actually his favorite <laughs> god dang band you could see the minutes, minutes to the destination is like three minutes. So, time in the song left is like three minutes. It's literally, it was perfect. Like a not, a not scripted, no fucking exaggeration. Perfect. Drops me off to the song ending. The driver's name was the same name as the person at the birthday who loved the song. And it turned out that the person at the birthday who loved, who loved the fucking song, his girlfriend had gotten him like tickets to go see that band. It was like a whole, like it was a fucking, it was good. Like the, the coincision of the fucking coincidence, it was, everything was nice. It was really cute. And like just riding in there and seeing the, like the clicking on the connection part of it. And uh, it just like immediate, like it took me back to uh, old friendship kind of memory things just so much more vividly because of just that kind of funniness to it. And that like serendipitous kind of thing of like things have kind of aligned for this to be like, I'm already going to a birthday of some of my oldest kind of buddies and there's a bunch of people there and it's going to be a good fucking time. And it's just, it's, it's cute and it's nice. And there's like a little family aspect to it too, which is fucking, it was pretty, it was adorable. Honestly, it was fucking, it was really cute. And I like that. But then getting there and having that and then having like just being immediately like yanked out of my body and into fucking like 14 year old me's fucking brain, like laughing about some old inside joke shit with the boys. I was like, yeah, they fucking, it was beautiful. And it happened exactly, exactly like that as it needed to in that moment. It was nice. It was god dang nice, dude. I liked it. I like those. That's a Mandela. That's a Mandela effect. In the words, in the parlance of our times, in the parlance of this fucking Discord culture, that was a Mandela effect. That was a beautiful thing. Serendipitous moments, dude. Um, Sick. Life synchronizes. Yeah. Synchronicity. It's fucking cool, baby. I like that shit. Um, yo, which castles in the sky, DJ? Are we talking about? Wait, what? Yep. Who's the DJ for Castle in the Sky? Because, like, I'm finding a couple. Original was by... I forgot who. What's her name? Oh, uh, Ian Van Dahl? Yeah. That's the original, but the one I'm talking about was by I, I.O. I.O.? Okay. I underscore O, yeah. Yeah, the game. I know, like, a DJ Satomi Castles in the Sky, which is, like, dope as fuck. This is, like, clearly there's a couple. Yeah, the Geb favorite the DJ guy is... This one has fucking 24 million views, dude. It's not like a unknown. Yeah, the Geb favorite DJ one is probably, I would imagine, is, is not going to be in the top viewership one because the guy was never like... Uh, he, well, he's, he's, he's died now. He died uh, in pandemic I times. But... He wasn't like Calvin Harris, Diplo fucking tier. Yeah, I don't think he was like, like 20 uh, million view tier for a lot of his songs. Probably not. I don't know if... I don't know, but I wouldn't think he's like that one. It's like getting mid tier. But this is the original song. It's a remix of the original song. Feels dope. The originals by Ian Vandal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a remix of the Ian Vandals. Yeah. Yeah, I O the DJ, the Gap oh, favorite. The video, DJ the video is sick. Yeah, that's himself as a like a data AI. That's him uploading himself into the like into the AI. metaverse. Yeah. When did he die? Uh, 2019, 20, 2020. 
2020. November 2020. 2020. This is a 2020 song. It says, or at least in, on YouTube's, it's 2020. Something's released posthumously. Yeah, too. It died. Uh, yeah, two weeks after that song. No way. Okay. It's actually wild. Yeah. This is, this is the the. Oh my God! No, wrong thing to copy paste. This is the right thing to copy paste. This is a wild castle in the sky. Oh, this is castle. Only one castle in the sky. The other one was castles in the sky. There's the distinction. Oh. DJ no. Sammy made a. DJ Sam, yeah, DJ Sammy made a good remix. DJ Sammy fruits, right? The old school fucking fast beats. This feels like this song feels like some Japanese vibes mixed with techno, dude. Satomi. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, already fellas on that note. On uh, that note, we are in the uh it's hour fifteen. I think we're calling this one. I started this one solo. Uh towards uh solo. towards the nine o'clock. Yeah. yeah, well I'm well, I've done actually one whole episode by myself. I'm not gonna let us fucking uh, lose a week no matter what. If motherfuckers couldn't show up in like the nine ish range, oh dude, you guys can yeah, buy whatever you want. But... You should you should probably link it in this episode and invite people to check out episode number uh for the first solo one i think it was like it was in the single digits it might have been five or seven it was called rambling man uh, the reason it's called that is because i was rambling because it was just me because nobody showed up but it was uh, it was a click good time the link on the top left corner of the screen people oh yeah i, I might do the that link, i probably access won't, the episode speaking of this kind of shit and the youtube's dude this uh this week's episode is uh sponsored by something sponsored by uh some type the wind, of uh, dude the wind sounds by the wind good i'll take that sounds by that also, uh, let's wrap. Let's wrap it. What's the What's the IO quote, dude? Every time I get I get I get you to re say it because I don't want to <laughs> fucking fuck it up. And you know what best? <clears throat> Do that as an outro, dude. Hit us with it. Lead with love, live with relentless passion. God bless, dude. That's actually. I'll say it once. I'll say it. I'll fucking get this one of the most beautiful fucking I will quotes ever. Get heard. It tattooed on my chest one day. I get that fucking tattooed on my eyeballs so I see it before I go to sleep and when I wake <laughs> up in the morning. Okay, okay. <laughs> Later, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, bless you all. Bless your souls. Uh, see you in the fucking uh, future metaverse space fucking like, time continuum wherever we end up. Okay, bye. Peace.